All right, welcome back. These are the materials that you're going to need for this project. To begin, I placed the black construction paper over my paper bag and I just traced the edges. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw um, a line on the inside of the one that I just traced because you're going to be cutting that out. The next step is to take your wax paper and you want it to be a little bit bigger because you can always trim it up but you if you know if you go too small then there's no going back. Once you have it pretty well traced you can begin drawing your tree. You want this to fill the window on that dotted line where you cut. You may take just a little bit with your Sharpie, but you're going to fill in the tree. can add smaller branches to give a little bit of detail and fill in some of that space. All right, the next step is you're going to flip the wax paper over. This is an important step. And then spread your glue using your paintbrush. Don't forget to wash your paintbrush when you're finished. Um, this is kind of the best way I've found to do this so that you don't have glue all over your hands is just spread the glue out and then you can grab your strips of tissue paper that you have cut up and then just grab it, stick it on. After every time I stick it on there, I try to grab a little bit of glue too and put it on top just to flatten it out. I'm trying to balance my colors too so that the yellow and red are spread evenly. You can overlap some of these. Just making sure that you have plenty of glue underneath and on top of your tissue paper leaves. Trying to fill in some of those areas. For the background, I've got some blue tissue paper, but you could use any color. I would choose a cool color like purple, green, or blue since your leaves are the warm colors. And again, just filling in that space. I went beside the tree trunk I didn't overlap mine that much on top of the tree. And you're trying just to fill in that rectangle shape on the inside. Add more glue on top if you need to.
All right, once you're finished, set that aside to dry. And you're gonna cut strips long ways like this. and then you'll have those. Once this is dry, put it back on top of your paper bag. And you're going to just trim some of those edges. Again, you don't want to go smaller than those dotted lines that you traced before. You want it just to fit a little overhead, but you do want to leave enough room there so that you can scotch tape the wax paper down on top of the bag like this and we'll be covering up those pieces of tape with our strips of black paper notice for the shorter edges I lay the black strip over it and then I just take my scissors and cut the excess so it fits perfect. And I'm just using a line of Elmer's glue in the middle of the strips. I did take my strips and then trim it in half so I got these thinner pieces for my window. And same thing, just glue on the back side, press it down, and you got it. What I'm doing now is just covering some of those scotch tape pieces. The last step is, once your scotch tape is all covered, let it dry. Once it's dry, you can open your bag Turn your tea light candle on and put it at the bottom. Turn some lights off and enjoy. See you next time.